All right, so we have the floor almost completely stripped out. Now it's funny, started peeling back layers and peeled back another layer, peeled back another layer. By the time I was done, there was about four layers of flooring. So it's actually surprising the floor held up as long as it did because one, uh, the flooring here, the subfloor, is not screwed down, it's nailed, and there's squeaks everywhere. You can hear the big ones there. And um, there's so many things, there's rot, there's, um, it's just, how it lasted that long is actually surprising, but that's a testament to the Schluter Dietra. That stuff really makes a big difference. And if you're unsure about it because of being a bit more expensive, trust me, it's worth it. I use it all the time. All right, let's get to um, what we need to do if you run into a case like this. So you see that the flooring comes out past the tub. All this other I was able to peel up because it was separate, but this tucks underneath. So here's where this awesome oscillating tool. And again, I love the Makita brand, especially. Um, it's a cordless and it works, it works the same batteries as my other tools. Just an amazing tool. I've had about four different brands and this one pretty much whoops them all. So if you're thinking about getting something serious, this is the way to go. So all you do is get your earmuffs. Sorry about the mess up there. Because this is going to be loud and you cut the board out. So you can see how simple it is. You just go along, cut it. Probably have to do another score just to make sure it's out. I'll take out a few screws and pop it out. So that's, an, that's the benefit to the oscillating tool. So next what we'll do is once this is cleaned, um, we'll, we'll be back vacuuming in later, but we'll put screws, the subfloor, screwing it down into the floor joist. Because right now it's bouncing because of the nails. 